heavyweight boxing fans what's the deal all right well ivan daishko man makes his pro debut takes care of business against uh i forgot the dude's name man abu Wright. um i'll leave the fight for you guys in the uh, comment section i thought the the stoppage was premature man but he, this wasn't gonna last long but the guy uh, Wright didn't really seem that hurt when he stopped the fight but you can just tell the skill level just the disparity in the skill level is just ridiculous um Daichko, man, a two-time Olympian, two-time bronze medalist, 2012, 2016. I've done quite a few videos on him when he was still in the amateurs. Uh, six foot nine. He's only 27 years old. Good jab. He's done a lot of work with the Klitschko's. He's been in a lot of training camps all over the world with different heavyweights over the last few years. Um, dominant amateur. He's pretty much in, anybody who's anybody in the amateur ranks over the last four or five years of super heavyweight. He has fought them beat a lot of them probably lost a few well he lost a few but went tooth and nail with a lot of guys so to me man i think he needs to go the joe joe joyce route um in my opinion at least and i think they need to fast track him a little bit he's only 27 not like he's you know 35 years old but i think they need to fast track him because these type of fights like this i don't think he's going to learn too much i'm not saying put him in there with a top 15 opponent you know but at least give him you know some higher tier journeyman Maybe they will in the next four or five fights, but fights like this, he's not going to learn too much, man. Um, just because he's been there, done that with the amateurs, you know what I mean? Uh, again, a two-time Olympian, but he took care of business. I liked his jab. I like his uh, reflexes for a big guy. You know what I mean? Kind of put you in the mindset of a Vitaly Klitschko. I'm not saying he's Vitaly Klitschko, but put you in that mindset, the way he can uh, move his head back and counter with right hands and the way he likes to peck away with his jab. But I can't wait to see more of Daichko, man. But he did what he had to do. He took care of business against um, Wright. Both these guys are extremely tall, man. Wright was six foot eleven, like 280 pounds. It looked <laughs> it looked like he had a pair of Air Force Ones on, man. It looked like he was wearing a pair of Nike Air Force Ones for this fight. Definitely don't want to see Daichko fighting guys with Air Force Ones on their feet, man. Uh, but I'm, I'm sure that he'll probably have a few of these fights. And then probably about, like I said, between fight five and ten, maybe they'll put him in there with a the higher tier type of journeyman and see what he has. But this class of 2016, I cannot wait, man. Uh, Yoka has a fight coming up. You got Joe Joyce. And I'm going to look this up before, uh, after I'm done with this video, but I believe Philippe Herkovic should have been on the uh, Breedis versus Perez undercard today. I've yet to watch that fight. I know the result, but I've yet to watch that fight. And I'm going to look up if Herkovic was on that undercard um i know like a week ago it was still up in the air if he was going to turn or make his pro debut so i'm gonna look that up but this class of 2016 i can't wait to uh see how it pans out you guys let me know what you think in the comment section i'm out